This is a video of Travis Scott stopping his concert. You tried to take my shoe? Because someone tried to steal his expensive shoes. Over just shoes. He incited violence. Come on. Come on. Come on. And even spit on the person. On that very show, he proved that he is capable of stopping the whole event as soon as it touches him directly. And I need you to remember this very situation because right now, Travis Scott and his concert organizers are facing consequences. I just want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. Eight young people from ages 14 to 27 lost their lives and hundreds others got injured at his music festival it was devastating you'll see fans literally passing out people were begging travis to stop performing but unlike in the attempt of stealing his shoes he was still performing for another 37 minutes this time he did not stop it felt like we was in a concert in hell you couldn't breathe, you couldn't see. So, should Travis Scott take responsibility for this tragedy? Because aggression was already noticeable hours before the concert. Fans were bursting through the gates, bypassing the checkpoint. People were getting trampled. And right before the performance, the 50,000 big crowd started pushing closer and closer to the stage to the point that some people couldn't possibly breathe and escape. And in this huge tragedy, there is even more that doesn't look good for travis scott because even if in one video he can be seen pausing to tell security about a fan who passed out we need somebody help him. somebody passed out right here there are many more capture scenes showing a huge issue yeah, all that, all that, all that, all that. two hands to the sky that was ignored a cameraman was ignoring desperate pleas and Travis Scott himself, right after seeing an actual ambulance passing through the crowd, who clearly was aware that people were passing out, for some reason he kept performing for at least 37 minutes. And no matter if you love his music or not, I want you to remember that big talent doesn't equal big heart. Too often do I see people who can write the most amazing songs being also the least amazing humans. And we want to believe they are great role models, but reality is most of these people should never be given any voice. They will use that voice to only cause more division and chaos with their horrible lyrics with their horrible entitled attitude. He pleaded guilty to reckless conduct charges in 2015 after urging fans of Lollapalooza to climb over barricades and onto the stage with him. I was encouraging them to flip off security as they did this. And you're free to disagree with me, but the fact is, Travis Scott has been arrested a couple of times for inciting violence. And fact is, this tragedy could have been avoided if someone else was on that stage. Ask ASAP Rocky. Uh, <laughs> Ask Billie Eilish. Ask Lincoln Park. If somebody falls down in the pit, pick them up. Ask many, many other musicians who play equally huge shows. They would all say that it is possible to stop the show if things get out of control. Not for an attempt of stealing shoes. You tried to take my shoe? But to simply save somebody. We've been working closely... We've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this city, Houston, HPD. Right now, while recording this really questionable apology video, Travis Scott may still wear the expensive shoes he so aggressively fought for on the previous concert. But if he only put all his energy into protecting his own fans, then maybe he would know what it's like to be in the shoes of people who cried for help but were never saved a world star on stage in his hometown but it soon became clear his fans were in trouble we need somebody to help him somebody passed out right here the rapper reportedly paused several times as the tragedy unfolded 
Security, somebody help jump in real quick. Keep going. Hey, come on, come on, security. Get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. But the show went on. Despite increasingly desperate pleas from the crowd. It was around 40 minutes after the first reports of people collapsing before the concert was called off. Eight people had died, all of them young. When we read these ages, 14, 16, 21, 21, 23, 23, 27, it just breaks your heart. Concert goers say things were chaotic from the outset. Well, in the beginning, like, as Travis Scott was getting ready to go on, the whole crowd is kind of pulsating. Eight people killed, hundreds more injured when the crowd surged as Travis Scott was on stage. We're learning more about the victims as Scott himself speaks out. Marcus Moore, live in Houston, with more on the investigation. Good morning, Marcus. Oh, Robin, good morning. You can see that growing memorial just outside the concert venue behind me. The, the brother of one of the people who was trampled to death said that you come to concerts to have a good time, not to die. This morning, grieving families are asking what went wrong here and who's accountable. This morning, multiple lawsuits against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and even rap superstar Drake filed after the Astroworld Music Festival in Houston turned deadly. Officials launching a criminal investigation into the chaotic concert that left at least eight people dead and many others hurt. 50,000 fans gathering to see rapper Travis Scott, a Houston native and Astroworld founder, perform. As he took to the stage around 9.15 p.m., the crowd, as seen in this Apple Music live stream, pushing their way forward, forcing people into the barricades. Our barricade even started to break, yeah, and the security had to come over to us and, like, start strapping the rails. People unable to move, some collapsing to the ground. 19-year-old Quentin Savage was trampled on while trying to pull his brother out of a human body pile. I was telling people, like, there are dead bodies over there, and nobody believed me. Crowd chanting, stop the show. Scott still performing throughout the chaos. In this video, a seemingly unconscious man is carried through the crowd as Travis Scott looks on nearby. At one point, Scott even seemingly acknowledging an ambulance on the scene. It's an ambulance in the crowd. Whoa, whoa. He noticed some people were, like, passed out. But as he resumed, fans are heard pleading for help. This woman climbing the stage platform, pleading with the camera crew to stop the show and help. A security guard lost consciousness after being pricked in the neck by a substance requiring Narcan to be revived. By 9.38 p.m., police declaring the scene a mass casualty incident. Shortly after, Scott pausing his song Skeletons to acknowledge someone in distress. We need somebody to help him. Somebody passed out right here. Party on his but police and medics seem tending to fans even as the show carries on for nearly 40 more minutes. Amidst the chaos, Drake joins Scott on stage. He posted these images from the night on his Instagram. I'm honestly just devastated. And I could never imagine anything like this just happening. The 30-year-old Scott addressing the tragedy to his 43 million fans on Instagram. My fans really mean the world to me, and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. <laughs> Kylie Jenner, he shares daughter Stormy with commenting, quote, I want to make it clear we weren't aware of any fatalities until the news came out after the show and in no world would have continued filming or performing. We will always celebrate you. You're in heaven, mijo. Memorials honoring the victims with flowers and grieving notes. He was talking to everyone how excited he was to be there and to go. And he was saving up money to go with his best friend Jacob, who also passed away. Among those who died, Danish Beg, 27, 16-year-old Brianna Rodriguez, Axel Acosta and Franco Patino, both 21, and 23-year-old Rudy Pena, along with Jacob Jurinic. And 23-year-old Arturo Sanchez was also in that crush of people, suffering a heart attack during the melee. A nurse who didn't want to be identified saved his life. Oh my God, I'm so we were there as the one strangers reunited for the first time since the tragedy. How many people did you try to help? I helped three others, but it's it's kind of a, like a prioritization thing. You have to move on to the ones who can survive, and this is it. These are the people who survived. <laughs> the Houston mayor is vowing a thorough investigation into what happened at this event. A concert goer who suffered broken ribs and multiple broken bones filed a million-dollar lawsuit Sunday against Travis Scott, Live Nation, and show organizers 
referencing chaos at other Travis Scott concerts. It's happened before. History has repeated itself. And we hope that by filing this lawsuit and the many other lawsuits that are guaranteed to follow, that Travis Scott and other artists like him understand concert goers want to be safe. We heard from so many people who were at this concert event and they were talking about the, the crush of people and how they literally were fighting for their lives to get out of that crowd. Robin, they said that this...